Hello, I'm a Tuba judge, and I'm so glad and blessed, praise God, to be bringing God's truth to you today. Okay, are you ready today? Now, I told you before, help us share this broadcast. Now, even right now, just share it. And if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to it. Yes, subscribe to so, and then put on the notification button so whenever we do a new video, you'll be among the first people to know. You'll be notified, praise God. And we do this every morning, every weekday. Praise God. All right, then, can we call for that daily bread? Join me in faith right now as we declare, say, Father, I demand right now and I receive from you my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Oh, glory to Jesus. Now, we are talking about the most important thing. Praise God. The most important thing. Now, I told you it's a new year. It is right for you to set the tone of the year right. If you are going to enjoy all the blessings and benefits this year is going to bring, hey, God has already spoken it. God has already done it. Now, if you will enjoy it, then you've got to know the most important thing. Praise God. And what's the most important thing we're talking about? He's speaking to us in Proverbs chapter 8. He's the one talking. Praise God. He's the Holy Spirit. I told you yesterday. He's the one. He is the one. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy mm. Masikata Kataya. I'm so blessed this morning. So full, full of his word. Praise God. All right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. All right. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, let's take from verse 20 again, just like we did yesterday. And I will go into today's one. It says, I transverse the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. Ah, yeah. Ah. Mm. That I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth. Can you see your future? When you choose to walk the path of wisdom. Can you see your future? When you choose to love the Holy Spirit. Remember, he says, I love those who love me. We saw that yesterday also. He said, I love those who love me. Do you love him? Do you love the Holy Spirit? Not his power now. Because some just love his power. Oh, that power of God. Move in this place now. And that's all. They don't love him for instructions. They don't love him for corrections. They don't love him. You, you understand when he, when he begins to tell you, you didn't do right yesterday. Oh, oh. <laughs> see, I've done it. I've done it. That's, that's their business. No. Have you ever finished preaching or talking to someone and then you hear him tell you, you know, what you said wasn't true. Hmm. I know, I know, but what do I do? Or sometimes he tell me, you know, you, you didn't give the accurate information about that situation. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm so sorry. What do you want me to do? Whatever you tell me to do, I'll do. And sometimes he says, you didn't speak right to that person. Why don't you call the person and apologize? I told you yesterday, fruit, fruit. He, everything he tells you is to bear his fruit in you. That's the truth. So you don't expect the Holy Spirit to come and tell you, yeah, good preacher, you preached very well yesterday. Oh, I hail you. Say, yes, even the Holy Spirit is healing me. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he said, of course he will tell you when you've done well. He, he will tell you. So don't think he's just a killjoy, just there to monitor your life. He tells us, he said, you, 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 you did right. You did exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you, Lord. You know what? I'll get you a bottle of Coke. Praise <laughs> God. Now, now, truly, truly, the Holy Spirit talks to us like that. No, he does. He does, he does. What do you think? Anytime he's coming, everywhere shaking. And then you, you, you call yourself and say, Lord, speak for thy servant is listening. Then he say, my soul. 
you have not represented me well. Come on now. He, he rebukes, he corrects, he instructs. He also praises. Praise God. Oh yes, he does. And not to not to not to stir up pride in you, but to give you a balanced thinking of yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, so, so it says that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may feel their treasures. Now, watch this. He says he wants to feel your treasures. You remember Jesus said we should not lay up treasures here on earth, right? He says we should lay it up in heaven. Okay? Now, I've said this many times. You've been following me. You should have the mindset of where I'm going to. With this. Now, we lay up our treasure in heaven. Not so that we will use it when we get to heaven. No. We lay up our treasure in heaven because it's the safest place to put our treasure. And whenever we need it here, now, we can withdraw from it. Now, he is telling you there that I will feel your treasures. Where is your treasure? Where is your treasure house? Where is your treasure container? Is it here or is it there? Mine is there. Now, you know how it is in, in the banking system. If you notice that you usually get paid from a certain bank and they issue you a check and then it goes to your bank, different bank, and you, you receive this check often, the smartest thing you would do is to go open an account in that bank where the check is issued from. Why? For easy flow. You understand what I'm saying? Now, yeah, now, 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 even bankers will tell you, come on now, it, it's just the best thing to do. Okay, mm, okay. But I already have a bank account. Open another one. Yeah. Oh, now that's exactly what Jesus was telling us to do. Now, Jesus knew, I command you, Jesus knew. Now, now this is not for everybody. I want, I am not cut over here. Kalia does that. And now, now, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Sometimes when we talk like this and we're excited, like people are wondering, what, what, what was getting excited? Hey, 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 if you see what I'm seeing right now, praise God. Now, Jesus knew that he's going to leave these people, his disciples, and then with ex by extension, us. And he's going to hand us over to the Holy Spirit. Right? Okay. And the Holy Spirit is going to be the one who's going to be dealing with us. Who's going to be bringing the blessing? He will say, He said, He will guide into all truth, right? Okay, now, so Jesus said, Hey guys, don't put your treasure in this your bank account that you have. Open a bank account in heaven. Mm. Mm. Why? Because your checks now will be coming from heaven. So it's better for you to have an account in heaven. So they just transfer it into your account straight. You see that now? Ha. Ah. Some of you didn't get it. He said, I will feel their treasures because Jesus was expecting and trusting that we will walk with the Holy Spirit path. Everything he's describing here, Jesus, he, he told the disciples, wait till the promise of the Father. Wait for it. Wait. Don't do anything until he comes. He was talking about the Holy Spirit. He was talking about the same person that was speaking here. And he promised, he said, I will feel, I will feel, I will feel their treasures. Hmm. May the Lord help you get it. 
chapter, watch verse 22. Whoa! Now he begins to talk some big stuff here. Praise God. He says, The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. Oh. <laughs> the Lord. Eh? Now notice that word L O R D, capital L O R, all the, all the alphabets are in capital. Capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D. He's talking about the what the, the big one himself. <laughs> the Lord Himself. He's talking about the one the, the one that created everything. That's the one he's talking about. The one we call God. He says, I cannot sabia. He said, The Lord possessed me. He said, I told you who we're talking about. You were talking about the Holy Spirit. He caught him here, praise God. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. Before his works of oh, oh, ah, ah, before God started anything. He went for the most important thing. Ah, did you see that he said the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way hey how then do you think you can do things differently the war oh, shit have I now come on come on come on come on come on Eli Satya the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way before his works of old. I have been established from everlasting. Now he's bringing out himself. Oh, he's been talking wisdom. Does not wisdom cry? Does not wisdom Does not this? Now he said, hey, 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 hey. He begins to introduce himself here. In the way we should understand him. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his ways. Before his works over, I have been established from everlasting. He said, I'm not a small boy. <laughs> I've been ever established from everlasting. From the beginning, before there was ever an earth. I've been there. <laughs> okay. All right. He said, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no found, when there were no foundations abounding with waters, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth or the fields or the primal dust of the world, I Karia, before what we call the particle world. He says, I was there. <laughs> oh glory 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 when he prepared the heavens I was there ah, ah, ah. no wonder he can tell us every secret about him mm. Mm -mm. what a friend to have what a friend to have brothers and sisters what a friend to have to so think that God decided to share him with us. What an honor. Sincerely, brothers and sisters, what an honor. No, you've not gotten it yet. Watch, watch. Mm. Mm. While as yet, when you see verse 26 again, while as yet he had not made the earth or the fields or the primal dust of the world when he prepared the heavens i was there when he drew a circle on the face of the deep ah <laughs> when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fountains of the deep ah le katabaya when he assigned the sea its limits, when he told the sea move, you know, you know, in Genesis one he says, "Let the earth appear, let the let the waters part themselves, and let the dry land appear." And the earth came out. And God says, "Waters, you don't cross this point, okay?" Yes, sir. 
wisdom. The Holy Spirit is saying, What? I was there. When he assigned to the sea its limits, so that the waters will not transgress his command. Ah. When he marked out the foundations of the earth. Huh? Yeah. It says, Then, verse 30 now, Then I was beside him as a master craftsman. Huh? And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Oh. He said, I was beside him as a master craftsman. Meaning, I wasn't just there looking at what he was doing. He said, I was the master craftsman beside him. You know what he was saying? I was the one giving him suggestions, telling him how to make this thing beautiful. I was the one adding color and beauty to all these things. So when we look at the earth, when we just look at all the vegetations, all the arable lands, when we look at the mountains, the formation of the mountains, why is everywhere not just a plain land? Why do we have mountains in some areas and plain lands in some areas? Why do we have the structure of the waters and everything? He said, I was the one. Tell me why your life should not be beautiful. No, 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 truly. If the one who was God's master craftsman is now with you, I Kalebo Safiya Dabaria. The one. I look at the whole world and I see how beautiful it is. Have you seen some pictures of, of some natural beauties? Think about when he was making man. He didn't just put rocks together and, and, and soil together and, and put one dot in dot. He, he took out time to carve out our faces, our body structures. He took out time to create the woman. And you look at this thing and said, man, she's so beautiful. He was there. Ah, And Nagaduzi Egebeni As the master craftsman, he was the one. He was the one that looked at the father doing the work. I said, hmm, I have a suggestion. Okay, what's it? You know, this this thing is looking too rough. Can we make it more beautiful? Can we can we give it some contour? Can, can, can we just add some curves to the edges? Um, okay, okay. As the master craftsman, brothers and sisters, my life will surely be beautiful. The beauty in my life is not because I'm so smart. The beauty in my life is because he is the same one that is with us. Praise God. At times, listen, listen. I speak over your life that every beauty that exists is being called out now by the Holy Spirit. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus every hidden beauty of your life. We are calling it forth right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will hear his voice giving you counsel, what to do, where to turn. And the beauty of your life is showing up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.